Welcome to Explore the Way. Today's video is about some doubts asked by our subscribers, especially about XOR gate. Mainly, why XOR gate output y equal to a bar b plus a b bar is expressed as a bar b bar plus a b whole bar. In my videos, I express like this. They are thinking that this equation is wrong and the schematic diagram also wrong. In this video, I am going to clarify those doubts because this is most requesting video from our subscribers. So, first of all, this is the equation for XOR gate. Yes, this is clear. Now, we need to implement this equation using CMOS logic. First of all, what is the nature of CMOS logic? CMOS logic produces complement of the input. Suppose if the input is A, its output is A bar, complement of the input. So, if I implement this equation, then the CMOS logic produces complement of it. So, at the output, we need to use one more inverter to get the actual output. Then it produces complement of this input. So, which is equal to XR function, complement and whole complement. Actually, in Boolean algebra, we have intuitive theorem, which is complement of complement of a variable is equal to the variable itself. If you see the first complement which is like x plus y whole bar. From the De Morgan's theorems, x plus y whole bar is equal to x bar dot y bar. So, we will apply this theorem to this one. So, which is equal to a bar b whole bar dot a b bar whole bar. This is whole complement. Now, Again, each term is like x dot y whole bar, which is equal to x bar plus y bar. Now, we will apply this theorem to this one, which is equal to a bar whole bar plus b bar dot a bar plus b bar whole bar. which is equal to here we have a bar whole bar a bar whole bar is equal to a plus b bar dot a bar plus b bar whole bar which is again equal to b now a dot a bar which is equal to 0 a dot a bar plus a dot b plus a bar b bar plus b b bar so this term is 0 this term also 0 so now the remaining terms are a b plus a bar b bar whole bar so directly I expressed a bar b plus a b bar which is equal to a bar b bar plus a b whole bar. This is the proof. Suppose if you want to implement this function as usual, then it will take for CMOS implementation it requires 4 plus 4 8 plus to produce complements. It needs two inverters. Each inverter two takes two transistors. So, totally 4 transistors. 12 transistors are required to implement using CMOS logic plus 1 inverter which is again which is equal to 2 transistors. Totally 14 transistors are required. But directly implementing this expression it will take only 12 transistors. So we can directly implement this function. 
if this topic is useful please hit the like button and for any queries or suggestions please comment in the comment section thank you